Claro. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, and raised in Carlisle, Massachusetts, this bedroom pop prodigy has come a long way from dropping DJ Baby Ben's mixes on SoundCloud. Plagued by Nepo Baby rumors, Claro beat the allegations by dropping 14 EPs independently Damn, from son. the ages of 13 to 17, all from a MacBook and a little keyboard. She went on to attend Syracuse for a short stint until dropping out to pursue music full-time. Around that time, she recorded and released her career-altering single, Pretty Girl, which now sits over 100 million views on YouTube today. Now, to answer the question on everyone's mind. Halush, why are you listening and ranking Claro? This is completely out of your realm of music. Well, my friends, as a straight man in today's society, I have to follow the words of the late, great Randy Savage. Your middle name is Macho. But uh, I'm wondering if you ever cry. You ever has a macho man ever cried? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh-huh. It's okay for macho men to show every emotion available right there, you know, because I've cried a thousand times, I'm going to cry some more. But I've soared with the eagles, and I've slithered with the snakes, and I've been everywhere in between. And I'm going to tell you something right now. There's one guarantee in life, and that there are no guarantees, yeah. Well, hold the phone there, Randy. There is one guarantee in life. I won't be reviewing her independent EPs because 2024's current climate. Oh, someone didn't read the flight logs. I believe my best course of action is to stay away from undeveloped music. So I will be sticking with whatever work she has on Spotify exclusively. That being said, let's get after it. At the bottom of the barrel, at dead last, is... This ain't it for me. Completely different personality than me. My inner rage can't be asked with this song. Loose change dropped in a puddle on the street beat. Instrumental overshadows the vocals. I know, I know, I know the song is great. I really don't resonate with it. Nanarama! Y'all down for the boy now. Irish rapper asks Claro out mid-song on a two-chord synth loop in a bouncy drums with a good flow. A folk ballad with backing vocals from the one and only Lord. It's cool. Serving as the tenth and penultimate track on Charm, it could use a bit more oomph. Feel Something is a ballad, a slow sentimental romantic song. The vocals could have been better for the beat offered. I do like the reminiscent writing of want to go back to the place where we started at the party I see you but you keep your guard up. Sonically phasing out beam me up Scotty vocal mods on gluey pluck synths. The final verses vibes. Beatles-esque. Reaper features motherhood. Shout out moms, yeah. And Dunwoody moms. Done what he mentioned, OTP, ATL ho, ATL ho. Middle school is gonna eat this up for sad girl summer and fall season. The king of the north. Hey, shout out Marietta. What y'all know about Kennesaw Mountain looking like a hill? ATL ho, ATL ho, ATL ho. Song title is literally what the song feels like. But to be honest, I'm more of a sexy back man myself. <laughs> Lo-fi on steroids. Nervous, flirty, footsie under the table of energy. The live at Electric Lady version is pretty amazing. Pretty Girl put Claro on the map. It's something about the simplicity of a girly girl natural look in the bedroom video of random dancing for me. I can't put a finger on it. I remember when it was blowing up. I was in a completely different headspace in the SoundCloud verse. But even back then, I was like, okay, this is pretty good. Claro's feature on Phoenix's After Midnight is trading verses on a rock alt song. This was one of the singles released for raising charity funds for Doctors Without Borders for the Hama War. But truly, when I think of Phoenix, all I think about is Dumbledore's Phoenix disappearance. Laid-back, minimalistic, mellow melody. 
Terrapin is what I imagine laying down in Moo Moo Meadows feels like. Mad contains soulful reflection arpeggios diving into themes of solitude, struggle with seeking connection, and avoiding emotional pain. Powerful strings and introspective lyrics and haunting melody, raw and honest. I'm touch starved and shameless, but I'd rather be alone than with a stranger. Retweet. Claro on a future funk beat. Left me on red opening is very cringe. Besides that, the highlights are the xylophone-esque instrument in the duet chorus. The Possible's drum opening is the exact same as One Republic's Good Life's drum opening, and I can't be told otherwise. Other than that, the accordion strings pull up, shout out Rostam and Peter Cottontail on the production. Claro featured on a sounds like a Santa baby vocals with another bedroom pop artist. This was another single for raising funds for Doctors Without Borders. Bedroom pop as fuck. To hold you features interlocking fingers looking for affectionate moments. Like sex is cool and all, but have you ever held someone's hand? Very cool minor synths outro. Impressively immense, a track that consistently builds on itself with its drums and adds new instruments as it progresses. Tons of alliterations for the limited lyrics and feels like a whirlwind of oceanside emotions. Alexa, AI vocals, futuristic, cyberpunk, edge runners, dystopian type beat. She ate on that bridge. Alawife lured me in and pulled a graveyard of fireflies on me. Beginning mild-mannered, Alawife is a courteous thank you to a friend who saved her from rash decisions in the 8th grade. Driven, dampened bass, acoustic guitars, and piano lead to this ethereal opening for a mutity. Slow dance is melancholy. Organs, Yamaha C80 synths, clarinets, flutes, bongos, bass, drums, acoustic guitars. Leon Mickles, you went crazy on this instrumental. Brazy. It's giving harmonies. Hints of psychedelic rock infused into a lyrically structureless composition. I love how free this song feels. Time is wasting. Do what you truly want to do in life. Wade goes on and says you should leave a preconceived life unplanned with a lighthearted delivery on a very serious matter. Boy of My Dreams emits an overall sweet tune with uplifting Johnny Tess spontaneous sound effects increasing entropy. Sinking's random little keys are cool. I adore the soft-spoken melody. Softly is lovely. You could be my home. PYT, written from PYT's perspective. Muramasa forged a dynamic of his own brazy world. Jazzy, soft snare hit and mad bass line. I have an endearment of expression on the We Both Know I Can Leave, followed up by the flute solo, clavichord breakdown. I love that she's going into music, which she's not familiar with, throwing caution to the wind, a leap of faith into exploration of the soundscape. A coming of age song, sorta R&B pop, a definite bop. The kicks be kicking. Pure. The multi-layered, multi-tracked vocals fill up the tracks to me are lovely, boosting the tracks overall vocal performance to produce as its own instrument. It sounds very rare. A quartet of strings follows an emotion-bound journey of mental health. Much needed mental health break. Regret behind a muffled acoustic guitar. The metaphor of swallowing gum as a negative moment in your life that lingers on and resides within you and thus needing the Pepto-Bismol she writes about in the song is beautiful. Unbelievable. She wrote this at 15. Incredible. Juna is in its own world of kind vibrations, mystique, and whimsy. The trumpet mouth ornates the 70s and the music video. Man. Ah! Frank, what the hell are you doing, man? Ah! That's my character. I'm the trash man. Very vulnerable. Thank you for the lessons learned. Flutes and percussion raise the bar with the piano responding to in and between bars. And those ending trio vocal effect with a dab of reverb towards the end. It's like starting a chess match and just putting out your hand and saying GG. <laughs> Woo! Certified bop. Long go! Rebound box! Back 
back out to Allen. History point of bang! You miss my name? Say it to my face. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Communication is key. Set it in between your breath. Oh my God, the beautiful piano mess, the percussion, the drums, the flute, the three tweets, the chancla breakdown, dealing with breakup. This is my favorite vocal performance. I wasn't ready for this level of maturity and deep thinking going into this song. I wouldn't ask you has the purity of children singing, guided by Claro. Layers of varying tonal intimacy. Claro was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Simply put, it's chronic joint pain that could be outgrown once you become a kid to an adult, but sometimes it's not. Being an independent individual, she wants to reject asking for help because she wants to be able to work on it herself. I very much resonate with that. And I love how she goes through it at the beginning. And then there's the breakdown and a breakthrough into an all-out ballroom blitz. A full-on loving acceptance. Rubber to the road, the texture of strength assures that we'll be all right. Like warm hands on a cold shoulder in the second act of the song. Hold on, let me fix something real quick. Live at Electric Lady is the right thing to say. Truly an electric version. Claro uses a deeper vibrato throughout Amoeba on this version. The beauty of combination given by the saxophone, flute, and clarinet and other live instruments is truly one of a kind here. This unicellular organism focuses on changes, alterations, exchanging priorities of the current state. In biological terms, it's bounding to different membrane organelles. Truly, this is one lush amoeba.